What's up everyone, ODC here, and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to take a look at the Mezco 112 scale Punisher action figure. This is actually the first release that I'm going to be reviewing today. There have been uh, multiple different variations, uh, but this was the original release that I got years ago. Um, I want to say maybe about two years ago, I think, since this has been released. Um, but, uh, this is a really good figure. I always wanted to get the, the classic looking, uh, version, the classic comic book version, uh, or at least their take on that classic comic book adaptation or look of the Punisher with all the white straps and everything and the different chest protector. But this is a more modern, um, I like to think that this is a amalgamation of, three things uh the smaller version of the actual um sideshow collectibles one six scale punisher figure which i also own and uh the comic book i want to say a little bit more of the i don't know i want to say punisher max look for the face sculpt and then um probably a little bit of ray stevenson punisher in there as well um that's just my opinion that's what i think but uh, uh he does look a very much uh, he does look very much like uh, the one six scale uh, Sideshow Collectibles figure, uh, which I'll probably have to do the review down down the road sometime. But anyway, um, let's not waste any more time. Let's uh, jump right into the packaging. OK, as far as packaging does go, the Punisher comes in this nice, beautiful box artwork right here with the Punisher logo, the kind of classic Punisher logo right there. Looks really good. It says one twelfth. Uh, collective on the upper left. On the right says the Punisher, and down below it says Marvel. Uh, turning around to the side, we've got the Punisher logo right there, and it says 112 Collective on the bottom. Flipping it around to the back, we've got some pictures of uh, different accessories, different heads, and all that stuff that, that he comes with, pretty much just giving a nice display of what you can mix and match to get different types of uh, looks or however you want to have him geared up or set up. Flipping it around to the other side, we've got uh, the Punisher logo, same thing. And then on this side, it says MezcoToys.com. Okay, and then you want to slide that little front piece off. Um, and it's pretty much the same logo on this side. And then on the other side, it has the half Punisher logo kind of... Uh, in a nice gray, looks really good. Same thing on this side and that side for the rest of the original or the, the slider packaging. Opening it up, you've got this nice window box display with a picture of the Punisher, looks really cool. Really, really digging this uh, logo for the Punisher with all the uh, the blood in the back with the skull and the, and the blood smearing everywhere, and then the Punisher with his two guns, and he's got this grimacing face, looks really good. And then flipping it around to this, you've got your typical window box display with these Mezco figures with all the accessories being displayed. Uh, obviously the figure's already out of package, but uh, we're gonna get to his accessories next, so we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back with the Punisher's accessories all out of packaging, and he comes with a total of 26 accessories. Uh, including the extra magazines and uh, ammunition and whatnot, including the knife and the stand and the bag to put all the accessories in if you don't want to keep the packaging. So that's pretty cool. They give you a nice, nice little 112 scale. I should probably turn it right side up. 112 scale collective bag. So if you want to get rid of the, the packaging, you can do so. I am not going to get rid of the packaging. I always keep everything, but... That's a, an option if you want to do so. It also comes with this display stand. It's kind of like one of those dynamic SH Figure Arts style uh, flight stands and Marvel Legends flight stands that we've seen. Pretty cool. Um, it's definitely got a, a durable build to it. Um, it does have little um, Phillips heads where you can tighten these up. Once you get them into the position that you want, you can ratchet those up and then tighten them. So you can use that if you want to. And uh, as far as plugging that in, you pretty much have to pop this little peg out of here. And then you simply just plug that right into the hole right here. Um, you can use this peg to uh, have him on the stand or you can use the other one. Uh, I, I kind of wish that they would have just given him this peg and then maybe another peg hole 
just to kind of and just to have that option instead of having to pop this out and have that be one more loose piece that you probably don't want to lose but um it's just a nitpick something to point out uh that maybe i have with the stands but the only other thing that maybe i would point out is that the the peg is a little bit shallow i wish it, it would go up a little bit higher uh he does tend to fall quite a bit uh, but that's really the only other thing i can think of as far as uh, a nitpick so those two things uh were would be two things that i would improve if i could uh improve this line okay first up as far as his weaponry goes we've got his grenade launcher right here um, looks really cool. I like it a lot. Um, it does have um, a multi-functions to it. Um, I actually like the way it works. Um, it does feel a little bit on the brittle side. I'm just going to warn you about that. Overall, I like the sculpt. I think the uh, two paint tones as far as the silver and the black go well together. He does have some optics on the, on the top here. Um, I don't know if it's an ACOG. It looks kind of like ACOG-ish, but uh, looks pretty good nonetheless. Um, it does have a nice barrel hole to it. As far as the uh, multi-functions that it does have, uh, you can pretty much move this, this rest up and down. Looks pretty cool. It works. It functions. Um, so that's nice. It's on a little swivel right there. And then to load this up, you simply want to tilt that up until it's like this. And then to load this, you want to take these little cartridges right here and... Uh, there's one side of the cartridge, which has got a nice gold color. And on the other side, it's just pretty much a black. Uh, but you want to have that with the gold side sticking out. Because that is the charging, where the charging pin is going to hit. And you want to have those loaded in like so. So you got the gold sticking outward. And there you go. We are all loaded up and ready to assault someone <laughs> and then you simply just want to twist that back over and they sit in there like so there's a little bit more paint shading on this side than this side but uh it's not really the end of the world uh, but uh nice with the first accessory okay next up we have his assault rifle um i'm not sure if this is technically supposed to be his sniper rifle or an assault rifle so i'm just going to go with assault rifle uh, it does look like a sniper rifle, to be honest with you, but it looks like he's got another ACOG on there, so um, I don't think that... It doesn't really look like a, a sniper scope to me. So I'm going to go with assault rifle on this one. Um, it does have a nice little wash to it. There's a, It's pretty much like a black plastic with a, a gray wash going throughout or silver wash. Uh, looks really good, nonetheless. Uh, the clip is removable. You can take that out if you want to. And there is a little bit of paint and sculpt for the round in there. And then he does come with an extra clip. So if you are wanting to have him switch his clips, you can do that. So nicely done overall with the sculpt of this. Uh, looks really good. Very pleased with it um, overall. Okay, up next we've got his MP5. Uh, looks really good. And um, I like the sculpt of this. I've always liked MP5s for some reason. I've just... I don't know what it is. It's just the uh, unique looking flat faced design to it. And then with that big grip in the front, the big stubby grip in the front. I don't know what it is. Just they overall, I've always, they've always appealed to me. But uh, really cool looking. I like it a lot as far as that goes. Uh, there is a nice little dry brushing going throughout to bring out some of those details as you can see right here. And then you can remove the clip like so it does stay in there quite tight um, and then here's the other clip so if you want to pop those in there's a little bit of uh, paint shading going throughout the clip as well so that's nicely done on mezco's part also okay up next we've got his sidearm it looks to be like a uh, almost like a, a i don't know i want to say like a 45 of some sort uh, modified um, but it looks actually kind of similar to what the thomas jane 45s his his dual wielding uh, 45s look like with the silver tip it's obviously probably a little bit different but uh, overall i like the design it looks good i like this nice uh, um, thumb guard right there looks really good very pleased with how this turned out and the clip on this is also removable let me just pan out a little bit here and there you go you can take his extra clip right here and just kind of uh, pop it in these parts are very small and I have very fat fingers. 
was born with fat hands. I've been skinny my whole life, and now I have fat hands. But uh, there's the 45. Very pleased with how that turned out overall. Nicely done with the silver paint, the sculpt of it. Overall, very, very happy with this. Okay, next up, we've got his combat knife. I really like the uh, this, this style combat knife. It looks really good. I like that it is double-edged. Um, actually, my preferred combat knife would be one with a serrated edge, like right here, and then a jagged edge. Kind of like that, uh, the same type knife that was used in the movie The Hunted with Tommy Lee Jones and Benicio Del Toro. If you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. It's awesome. Uh, but uh, I really like the grip for this. It's got that kind of uh, modern-esque feel to it. Looks really good. Very pleased with how this turned out overall. You could also be using this as a throwing knife, seeing it has a double-edged uh, tip right there. Um, it looks kind of like a very arrow-ish. Um, so it would uh, be quite aerodynamic if you did whip this at somebody. Looks really good. Overall, I like the design. Very nicely done. Okay, next up we've got his kind of uh, little effect uh, that you can put in the barrel of a gun. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, and there you go. Really cool effect. I think it's very nice that they included this. And uh, very uh, appreciative of the translucent plastic with the yellow kind of getting lighter, lighter, and lighter. And then you can actually see the single bullet coming out, which is really cool. Nice silver paint for the bullet. There's no paint slop or anything. It's pretty safe to say that um, uh, there's really no paint slop going on here throughout this entire figure. I don't have any issues with any paint or anything like that as far as that goes. Okay, as far as the uh, first hand goes, it's pretty much just a trigger hand. I uh, really like the sculpt of this uh, glove, though. It's a, he's got, so you can tell he's got some knuckle dusters or some sort of uh, um, hand protector on there for when he's punching people. Uh, looks really good. Very pleased with this sculpt, and it's pretty much consistent throughout the rest of the hands. Um, it's just that this one is a trigger hand. Okay, next up we've got a fist hand right here. Pretty good sculpt overall for the fist hand. No really big issues or anything like that that I have to point out. He does have, like I said, uh, uh, some hand protectors right there. You can see he's got knuckle dusters right there. Looks really good. Very good job with the, the, uh, the detail on here as far as the sculpt and a little bit of dry brushing going throughout the hand as well. Okay, next up you've got uh, two of these kind of, um, I guess... Uh, gesturing gripping hands um, looks pretty good uh, I don't know how many times I'm going to be using these hands but it is a nice option to have in case I want to do some sort of specific display where he'd be reaching out maybe trying to stop a bomb from detonating or something like that I don't know but uh, really good overall and uh, like I said very consistent okay up next we've got this kind of palm striking hand which is pretty cool I I'm, I'm pretty pleased that they actually included this a different type of uh um, usage for a martial arts pose or something like that if you wanted him to be using that it looks really good i'm very pleased that they kind of included this maybe a jab to the throat or something or a palm strike to the nose who knows who knows nose 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 the other two hands that he does come with is this other uh, trigger hand it's just pretty much the opposite of the left one that i showed you and then this one is an open gripping hand uh pretty much for just like holstering uh or holding uh other assault rifles like if you have an assault rifle you want him to two hand that rifle or look down the sights this is going to be the hand that you want to use for that uh, so they're all of his hands okay up next we've got uh one of his three heads uh this is the screaming head it looks really good normally i'm not a fan of screaming heads because they're just not done well but holy shit look at look at the amount of detail in here Looks really good. Very pleased with the scarring on the cheek right there, on the chin, on the lips, over the eye. It looks just so good. He, I mean, if you want to have him with that shooting uh, or bullet effect um, with, a, with a gun and him just kind of shooting from the hip and just going bananas on somebody, you know, as Gwen Stefani would say. Uh, but uh, looks really good. I like the uh, slicked back hair. Looks very nicely done. So very pleased with this. Look at those eyes. Oh, it's got a little bit of gloss to the eyes right there. It looks really good. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. And he's got those blue eyes. Okay, up next, I, I like to call this uh, I've been through hell head. 
Um, because look at him. I mean, he's got a little bit of Rocky Balboa going on uh, on his right side. And then <laughs> he's got uh, the bandage over his nose. Uh, maybe he got a broken nose. And, a, you know, obviously someone hit him in the right spot for that eye. Then we've got the scar over the eye. It looks like it got a little bit larger. We've got a new scar on his forehead over there on the on his uh, left. And then uh, underneath his eye, his eyes almost even his left eye is almost shut. Um, then he's got new scarring over here by his lips. He just looks like he is just like I said, been through hell. But it looks so just so well done. Okay, and last up, we've kind of got his uh, neutral looking head. Um, he doesn't have as much scarring. He's only got uh, one or two scars on his lip, and then one teeny little scar over his his uh his eye right there, uh, but he looks pretty, you know, clean. Uh, he doesn't have a five o'clock shadow that much. It's very subtle, maybe very, very subtle five o'clock shadow. So maybe this is the after, um, maybe a couple weeks after he's been kind of brutalized or whatever. We do have one little scar on his uh, chin, his, his left chin right there, uh, but everything looks really good. I like the slick back hair, looks really good. Like I said, there's more of that blue paint shading going throughout the rest of the head, or as far as the hair goes, excuse me. Um, but, uh, yeah. But that pretty much concludes all of his accessories. I'm very pleased with everything that he came with. And uh, let's move on to sculpt and paint work. Um, just taking a look at uh, his sculpt, uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about besides the head and the boots, the hands, and his chest protector and his vest i should say um because everything else is pretty much just a cloth so you don't have a whole lot of sculpting right there obviously there is a body sculpted underneath there but i'm not going to attempt to take this all off because it would just not no i'm not doing that um <laughs> but anyway uh as far as the sculpt goes um the heads are really where it's at uh, the skin tone on the neck does pretty much match up as far as the the heads do go, as far as you popping the heads off and on. Uh, they do match up pretty well. The vest itself looks really good. We've got um, this more modern looking vest. Like I said, it looks very Ray Stevenish, as far as uh, what I'm concerned. I think it looks like. Um, it does have these nice black straps going on right here. Looks really good. It's actually got some paint detail going on right there. Some sh uh, shading, paint shading going on uh, to give it off that uh, uh, grimy, dirty feel. And then over here on the chest, we've got a white paint with some brown and some, it looks like uh, silver paint kind of uh, maybe chipping off some of the white after being shot a couple times. It looks like there's bullet holes or of some sort on there a couple bullet holes over here by the eye everything looks really good i'm very pleased with how this turned out overall and then on the ammo pouches the ammo pouches look really good it's pretty much like a black uh, plastic with um, some brown dry brushing going throughout everything looks really nicely done let me just move this arm out of the way so you can get a good feel and then the buckles are nice silver Moving along to the back, you can see I put the knife in its sheath, um, and there actually is some paint shading going throughout the sheath, giving off the sheath, excuse me, giving off that kind of weathered look, weathered leather looking feel to it. Very nicely done. Over here, we've got the uh, same kind of paint detail that we saw on the other side of the vest and the pouches. Uh, nice silver for the buckles. Everything looks really good there. Moving on to the boots. Boots look good. It's pretty much like a black plastic with some brown paint shading going throughout to the bottom of the boots. Um, I really like that. We got some silver paint for the little loops right here. Everything looks very nicely done. Very pleased with that. And then just pretty much the rest of the body is uh, all cloth. So, okay, as far as Punisher's articulation does go, his head can swivel at a full 360 rotation. Um, he can look up about that far, and then he can look down. Really good range of motion there. Um, there's actually two points. Um, there is a ball peg at the neck, and then there's a, a ball peg at the neck going into the body. So 
you really do get to that kind of natural looking neck joint right there. Um, but his head can pivot side to side. Really good range of motion in the head and the neck. Um, just very, very pleased with how that turned out. Um, let's see if you got some job turkeys. Oh, yeah, we got some job turkeys. Up here. Um, arms go up. The arms go down. Full 360 rotation at the arm. Um, you're going to have to work with the uh, full 360 because of the cloth right here. I wouldn't force it too much because you don't want to stretch out the cloth and then it tears and then... You know, then you've got an issue on your hands. Um, I'm trying to see if he has butterfly joints. I don't believe he does. I thought there was going to be one there for a second. Uh, I think they're kind of those upper uh, butterfly joints, those old like Marvel Legends style ones where some of them went up and down instead of back and forth. But it looks like we got a back and forth butterfly and then we got an up and down. I would just work with it. Maybe yours is frozen. I know this side's a little bit frozen on mine, but I had to work with it. Um, and you don't want to use heat on these, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> and if you do use heat, I suggest you use a hair dryer or something along those sorts. And you don't hold it too close because you don't want to start fraying, like I said, these uh, this cloth or anything like that. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. And he does have a double jointed elbow. I'm trying to feel around in there. If he does, he does. And then he has a wrist swivel, and it's on a ball, kind of like a, a wrist socket. It's kind of similar to SH Figure Arts, I want to say. Um, it does go up and down, so there is a ball hinge joint right there. So nicely done there, though. Um, he does have, and I think he has an ab crunch. He doesn't really use it, though, due to this vest. So if he does have one, um, he doesn't really use it too much, but you can get him to swivel a little bit. Um, a lot of the hindering has to do with the cloth. So, um, you really have to work with it to get him to swivel. Um, uh, but he can do the splits as well. His legs can go forward. They can go back. He does have an upper thigh swivel, which is high up. It's, it's more of a natural upper thigh swivel. And there's no cut joint or anything like that. It's pretty much kind of like SH figure art style. And then he does have a double jointed knee. And he does have a boot swivel. An ankle swivel. He can point the toe, not so great. And he can point the heel, not so great. And uh, he does have an ankle pivot. It's kind of uh, a little weak. You don't get that like crazy... Marvel Legends style ankle pivot, but it is there. And two peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Okay, as far as size comparisons go, we've got two Marvel Legends here. On the left, we've got Luke Cage on the Hyperion body mold. On the right, we've got multiple men on the Bucky Cat body mold. Okay, up next, we've got two female Marvel Legends. On the left, we've got Psylocke. And on the right, we've got Valkyrie. Next up, we've got a WWE Elite figure in Shawn Michaels on the left. And on the right, we've got a DC Universe Classics Hawkman. And last up, we've got a Motu Classics in Vicor on the left. And on the right, we've got Shaw Gideon Evans brand. Okay, so my final verdict for the 112 scale Mezco Punisher is definitely a two thumbs up. If I could give it a third thumb, I would. I always have a lot of fun posing this guy. Um... Uh, he, I really, the only thing that I have to worry about with this is the cloth kind of maybe deteriorating over time. And uh, the only other thing that I really um, would have maybe improved were the stand as far as uh, maybe adding one more hole in there uh, just to put the other stand in instead of having to pop the peg out for the foot stand for the foot peg and then, you know, doing all that. The only other thing besides that that I would have improved on this was giving him a thigh holster for his sidearm. Uh, I, I'm not really, I'm kind of baffled that he didn't come with one, um, to be honest with you. I think it would have made sense to give him that, seeing as he did come with a sidearm. So if you want to have him holding his sidearm, then uh, you're going to have to have it in his hand. Uh, but uh, I never end up posing him with that, so it would have been nice to have him all geared up with his thigh holster at least or at least a holster on his back um i know the holster on his back does come with his knife sheath but i think it would have been a nice touch to 
give him a gun holster a uh, for his 45 as well. But uh, overall, I'm really pleased with this figure. Uh, don't have any issues. I know this guy is, uh, he's an older figure. Um, he, he's not going to be easy to track down. And if you do track him down, he's going for anywhere from 200 to $500 for some reason. It's, it's insane how much these go for. Um, if you find them for a hundred bucks, I'd say maybe pull the trigger. Uh, I pre-ordered this a long time ago. I think he was 80 bucks. Um, and this was a couple years ago. So um, that's when Mezco started switching to the $80 range. Uh, overall, I'm really pleased with this. It's one of my favorite Punisher figures that I own, and I own a lot. Um, and uh, to me, owning the 1-6 scale Sideshow Collectibles figure, this is just a shrunken down version of that that I can kind of mix and match with my Marvel Legends and 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 all of those other 6-inch scale figures. So uh, he works right in scale with those, so that's another plus on, that, on, on his side. And uh, overall, the articulation, the sculpt, the paint, everything is well done with him. So if you, if you have a chance to get him, I'd say pull the trigger. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always. Do you like this Punisher? Do you not? What's your preferred one from all of the previous Mezco Punisher releases? Um, but, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications until you see two little parentheses hanging over the bell. This way, you know, you get all notifications, uh, hit the like button if you want to, if you don't, that's cool. If you want to hit the thumbs down, that's cool too, but let me know how I can improve my content and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the flip side.